Hi, here's Gav with another Big Stompy Robots update. This time we're looking at shooting, so let's get some cards and dice out. So here we have a selection of different systems cards for weapons that your mech might carry. A rotary cannon, rockets, blaster and a machine gun. As you can see they all look a bit different, uh, which represents the way they fire and do damage in the game. As I explained in my first video, systems are powered by allocating green power dice from your reactor to the systems of your mech. So the same is true for weapons, they need at least one dice to fire. When it's your mech's activation, you pick a system and you pick up the dice and you use those dice to resolve the action that you want to do. So for example with the machine gun, it only ever uses one dice. The thing about the machine gun though is that it has ammunition so you actually have a limited amount of ammunition but each ammunition you add adds white dice to it so you could fire an extra three dice from your ammo and you'd roll all of those together we'll get into how you work out the results later on some weapon systems like the blaster allow you to put in multiple dice so you can power up it doesn't give you any additional dice but the more power dice you put into it the more dice you'll roll for when you've got multiple dice like this you use them all together you can also get uh, systems that allow you to put in multiple dice and generate extra dice so for example the rockets here if you put one dice in you gain two extra white dice if you put two in you get two extra white dice and only fire you will fire them all together simple as that there are various other different sorts of fire the important stats that you need to think about in regards to weapon is you have a range these are range bands, so for not a maximum range, there are no maximum ranges. So these are in centimetres, so for example the rocket's got a range of 25 centimetres. So for each 25 centimetres between you and the target, the effectiveness of your shot is reduced by one point. Um, there is also something called burst fire, which you'll see on some of these, which essentially allows you to fire a lot of shots, uh, which will be scattered across the target, as you might think with rockets or a long burst of fire or some, which have got a number here, allow you, if you choose, to fire a shorter, more controlled burst which will only hit one location on the target. Um, we'll get into that in, in detail in a future video, but basically you can choose to try and inflict a damage over a wide area or concentrate your fire on a small area. Um, that's about it. We'll have a look now at how you resolve the shooting itself. All weapons have a fire arc, which is quite important, uh, which will either be 90 degrees to the front directly to the front or 90 degrees to the front to either the left or right you can if you want to add a mounting to your mech which adds a bit to the weight and your power requirements which will allow you to turn that into 180 so you can if you want have more flexibility but there's a downside that it takes more power to turn the weapons and to fire them if uh, if your target's out of your particular fire art that you want to use then obviously you can't shoot um, fire arcs also determine the chances of hitting a particular part of the mech, so shots from the side are more likely to hit this weapon than that weapon, and so on. Shooting is resolved by taking the dice that you've generated from your reactor, and if there are any other extra white or yellow dice because of the weapon system, let's say we're firing this mech's blaster with three power dice. You measure the range. In the case of a blaster, the range bands are 15 centimetres, so here the range is about 23 centimetres, which puts it into the second range band. So the first 15 is free. Each extra range band adds one penalty dice. You then roll the dice along with a D6, which is going to determine your location, your hit location. So we have a total, we have hit location two and we've scored three. The penalty dice has scored minus one, so that cancels that out. So we've scored two points of damage on that location. Two happens to be the legs, which have got an armour value of two, so that actually that shot bounced off the armour. Let's say we'd rolled a bit better, scored a four, with our minus one takes it down to three, which gives us minus two for the armour, one point of damage. So on the legs card, which would be on this mech, on their cards, we would put one damage dice, and that damage would stay there until repaired, and would affect the mech's movement, as I discussed in the movement video, Cover works pretty much the same way as range in that it applies penalty dice to your roll. The number of penalty dice depends on how much cover is passed through and the sturdiness of that cover. So we'll say we've got our three dice for our blaster here. This shack uh, provides 
one point of cover for every two centimeters or part pass through. So the shack is just over three centimeters wide. So that's actually going to apply two penalty dice. And then we've got the one penalty dice for the extra range. So we'd roll all of these together and then apply the results. So we scored five. We've also scored uh, minus four there. So actually that would leave us one, which wouldn't be enough to get through the armor. And finally, uh, just as with movement and the other systems, damage applied to a system is also taken into account when rolling for its effect. So if our blaster had one damage dice on it, that would also get rolled along with the power dice to determine the effect of the shooting. So we'd add one dice in for the range, it would all get rolled together. If you roll an exclamation mark while shooting a weapon, which is damaged, that adds an extra point of damage to the weapon. So firing while malfunctioning can cause more serious damage to the weapon. That's it for shooting. We're going to look at damage and damage control in more detail in my next video. Thanks for watching. Check out Big Stompy Robots on www.gavthorpe.co.uk and sign up for the newsletter. Hopefully I'll be able to run you through a demo game at an event soon. Bye.